What is going on everybody? It's a beautiful day today here at the Motor Coach Store in Bradenton, Florida. And today I found a 2008 Beaver Contessa. This is a lot of coach for the money. It's a quad slide with a king size bed. Really a lot of desirable features. And I know a lot of you have been asking for me to show a Beaver on the channel. So I'm really excited to show this coach to you today. So first off, I wanna give you a look here at the C9, the Cat C9 there. We just opened this engine bay up to get a closer look at that. And I love how Beaver styles that mud flap. And it's on the Roadmaster chassis. Beaver really was a top of the line production coach, right up there with Country Coach as far as build quality wise, out of Coburg, Oregon as well. So let's get a little closer look here in some of the bays. So the first bay here is gonna house that Aqua Hot 450 DE as well as that diesel fuel reservoir does have that exterior fill without opening the bay door bay two is going to be a large pass through bay with the full slide out tray really in great condition for a 2008 when you open and close these doors it's just definitely a level up from some of the other coaches we see Another very large wide pass through bay with no slide out tray so you get a little more height. And I love the colors and I'll be honest, some of the Beaver coaches from this vintage will get paint checking. I've been looking and I do not see any paint checking. Really a clean coach, big awning up front here for your patio as well as window awnings. Here's your propane bay really in good condition josh is looking for those date codes on those yokohama tires all good this is a side radiator coach very desirable feature this will be your generator exhaust over here here's your plumbing bay what a beautiful wet bay for a 2008 coach i love it's like a, a brushed alloy kind of a finish. Really an excellent condi condition. It's got the Sanicon system. There's your black tank flush, city water fill, little outside shower. You've got your tank monitors out here. Sani Turbo, I'm not sure about that, but the super Sanicon system, I believe. Really in good shape. Here's the other side of that large pass-through bay with no slide out tray. The other side of the pass-through bay that, that does have a slide-out tray. And there's that ladder that will hook onto the back of the coach. And then your fresh water tank and the other side of that diesel fuel reservoir is on this side. So you could fill up on both sides of this coach. Here's your side cameras as well as your rear view cameras. And I've got to point out how good of condition these headlight lenses are in. That really tells a lot of a story. Uh, same thing with the rear view mirror. Sometimes the chrome will start to, to peel or if it's around you know, salt water, I don't see any pitting at all on these mirrors. Really, this coach is in excellent shape, especially for the money. So it looks like these are really fresh tires. I believe it's a DOT code of 22 of 21. So if, if those are 21 date code tires, brand new tires are on it. All right, let's go take this coach for a tour. But first, I'm going to show you the coach with the slide outs in. Captain's chair is in great condition. I like how it's got kind of a darker gold piping to complement that tan leather. So this is what the coach looks at like with the slide outs in. You can see Josh has got plenty of room there with the opposing sofas. I mean, I, mean, I can walk by him. I mean, really, how many coaches would I be able to walk by another guy? And a big guy at that. Yeah, with all the slide outs in. Definitely a lot of room in this coach. You can get to your galley, your dinette, your refrigerator, back here to the mid bath, and the king size bed. All right, so Josh is gonna show us how the slide outs go out in this coach. Basically all your slides for all four slides are uh, located on this panel right here. Uh, basically it'll tell you your curbside. These are your rear slide outs on this right hand side. These are your front slide outs on the left hand side. We'll go ahead and set in the rear slide outs first, starting with the curbside. Oh yeah, it's just going out like lightning fast back there. Sure is. Let's that say less than 10 seconds. Less than 10 seconds for sure. 
and we'll just go ahead and do the uh, driver's side. quick as well right around 10 seconds yeah okay, we'll go ahead and do the front ones as well starting with the curb side again lightning fast on the curb side and then finally we'll do the driver's side front super fast slide outs Super smooth, yes sir. I really like this coach. This is a nice coach. Now, uh, we do have the generator and the AC is running, so I apologize for the background noise, but uh, we're gonna go over the cockpit area in a moment when we drive it, but really cool floor plan. A Lot of room with all the slide outs out with the opposing sofas. I like the brown leather. I'm gonna be transparent. A Little bit of scratches there on the leather. This is a sleeper sofa. You have the dinette over here. I like these chairs with the two-tone with this pattern and then a leather here on the bottom. Over here, we're gonna have a small little, uh, kind of a love seat, I would say. And uh, let me see, you wanna hold this for a second? I'm gonna see sure. if it jackknifes out. Feel, yep, boom, just easy peasy. Manually jackknives. I do see seat belts in there, very cool. And then you can just pop that back in there. Thanks, Josh. Mm -hmm. And Beaver is really known for all of their woodwork. So really that Oregon woodwork, they were doing a great job during this era. Inside the cabinets appear to be in really good condition, all lined with carpet. There's your AC and your aqua hot controls. You do have a midship TV. I like the positioning of the Sony TV there, midship with a good size galley off to the curb side. The Atwood high output uh, stove here, as well as the microwave convection oven, the Sharp. Plenty of storage here, and a full residential Dometic refrigerator with a little uh, latch here to open and close that. Good amount of storage across the driver's side. That is a Sony Bravia TV. Now I like how this TV kind of comes out to really separate your living area. So you're not looking all the way through the coach back to your bedroom. I guess you can kind of see, but it's definitely broken up with just this little area coming out. And then here's the storage of the rear axis, a little bit of storage and rear axis to your TV there. And then a washer dryer here in the middle of the coach. This is an interesting position that you don't see very often. Really cool floor plan. Here's a big pantry with this little lever to hold it in place. And that woodwork, I mean, look at that. It's just so high end. You can really feel that quality of that woodwork. And I'll just slide that back down. Mid bathroom coach. Got a sink over here, outlets, plenty of storage with a radius shower and this is a real high-end kind of a feel here here's your toilet room with a sink a window and then a vent with a fan a little bit of storage or actually your breaker panels uh, your breaker panels up here in the in the headroom and then some storage here behind your toilet and Good amount of space around the toilet as well. And then going into the uh, rear bedroom here, king size bed, you've got a rear closet, a lot of storage over here as well. And I like how it's kind of tiered, how you have bigger drawers underneath here. And then these will be a little bit smaller, but you do have shelving as well. And outlets, you've got storage here for your components a Samsung TV in the bedroom with more countertop space. More drawers back here, a lot of storage in this coach. Storage all over, and then real long, real tall wardrobe space. There's some extra chairs for that dinette. And then not only do you have a king size bed, but you have a little bit of countertop space on both sides of the bed, and you have outlets on both sides of the bed as well. 
All right, Josh, I say we take this coach for a test drive. What do you think? I think it sounds great. I'm anxious to get on the road with this thing. Let's do it. I'm excited to see this. I've never driven a Beaver before, so I'm really excited to take this for a ride. When this coach came in, the stuff cover wasn't mm -hmm. acting right. Yeah, no worries. So this is a first person view of what the cockpit area likes. I'm gonna tilt this steering wheel down in a second, but you've got two cup holders. And again, that wood is super solid, real basic AC controls. You've got your generator on off, docking lights, your step cover button, serious uh, satellite radio uh, controls here, all analog gauges. Here's the battery boost, the high idle, the engine block heater. You can adjust your pedals. I really like that. Uh, you can adjust them in and out uh, all by the press of a button. You got your engine, uh, your, your exhaust brake, ATC, driver shades, passenger shades, driving light, mirror heat, your mirror controls, parking brake. Then here's your leveling system. So I'm just gonna pull, pull this. I'm pretty comfortable. I'm gonna fire it up here. Ooh, there's that Cat C9 that feels nice when that fires up. Uh, I'm gonna put this, put this backrest up a little bit more. Yeah, I apologize for that AC uh, noise, uh, but giving you guys the, the full tour here, so. All right, it's go time to that. And we close that engine hatch and everything. Everything you walked around, everything. Okay. All right, so this is my first time driving a Beaver. I'm really excited about this. The Cat C9, 400 horsepower, and really a solid coach. An 08, 42 foot coach on the Roadmaster chassis, and I'm just really impressed with how smooth this is driving and if those DOT day codes are like they were 2021 that would explain a lot I always say a fresh set of tires definitely is a big help I'll tell you what I'm gonna turn right here and then right at the highway you think I can make it right here or sure let's see how many uh, cars are here but look at how rough these roads are Pretty beat up. All right. Made that turn no problem. And I'm hammering down. Now, I, I will be honest, I drove a couple 600 horsepower coaches earlier today that had a little more pep, but I mean, these are not race cars by any means, and this is definitely plenty of power, really gets up and goes. Not very much steering wheel play at all. You guys can see I just have one hand on the steering wheel, kind of a bumpy road with oncoming traffic, but because it's so stable, I'm comfortable with that one hand. We're gonna get on the 301 here uh, north and just really hammer down, try to get this coach up to speed. And I'm gonna, that AC's blowing ice cold. I'm actually gonna turn that down a little bit. serious buyer you can reach out to Bradley Twain at the motor coach store here in Bradenton Florida I greatly appreciate all of you that are subscribing to the channel and liking these videos Josh thanks again for taking us on this test drive oh, appreciate sure. you sure thank you yeah hope you're all having a great day thanks again thanks folks have a good day